Hey there, this is Brad from Brad Tech Online reviewing uh, the new Spower Doctor 7.0, their 2010 uh, line product that just came out. Um, I'm not seeing a whole lot of differences right now with this product. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate it with my own personal account. Hang on just a second. Okay, we got it installed. Um, went ahead and it always finds these stupid tracking cookies and stuff like this. Go ahead and get this removed. Um, anyhow, of course the uh, threat fire behavior guard is included. A, I don't know if it's the full blown uh, threat fire uh, module or not. Uh, we got the browser guard back. Cookie guard is back. Email guard is back. Your file guard is also back. Uh, everything looks the same here. Then you get down to the settings, and you notice that there's an, a game mode that they've added. Um, enable power savings mode detection. Um, you can enable kernel compatibility mode. Um, also, you can uh, have IntelliGuard to detect unwanted products. I'm going to check that. Um, you can pass or protect your settings. Also down here is secure community settings. I already set this up to automatically submit uh, stuff uh, to them that they deem that might be actually a, a file that's infected. Um, anyhow, I'm going to run it through some zero days. Also, it didn't require me to restart my machine after installing. The reason I like Spower Doctor so much, especially when they've incorporated threat fire into their product, is they got such a great detection rate for spyware based programs um, a lot better than traditional antivirus systems do um, plus threat fire included with it it's kinda like the icing on the cake when it comes to uh, zero day attacks and known attacks that are out there already see how this Travid.exe um, it's kinda the same collection that I've tested against Previx and bull guard tonight. As you can see, um, it detected it right off the bat, unlike some of the other products before. Behavior guard got rid of it, threat fire. Right there, it uh, blocked it, blocked that uh, backdoor Trojan from installing, so we're two for two. A lot better than Bull Guard so far. Um, Teleguard kicks in and cleans detections. I'm going to block this also. I'm actually seeing this IntelliGuard go in and clean spawers, uh, spawers stuff off too instead of just the executable that uh, is kicked in. Looks like their site guard, this hasn't been added to it yet. Um, See how it handles the soft soldier zero day attack here, the executable. That's a, that's trying to run and install itself. Looks like we are getting some disk thrashing going on here. Setup is running in the background right here. Um, thing about it is, is it's actually not doing what it's trying to do, which is pop up a little dialog box right here and go out and pull it down. Oh, there we go.
like it's actually getting on here and installing. Here we got something right here. Uh, it said it blocked it. Application maybe underscore rogue AV. I'm going to tell it to block. And it looks like it cleaned it. Nothing has actually detected this today and done this, to be honest with you. Um, Man, when Spyro Doctor is incorporated threat with fire in there, I don't know. There's not going to be a whole lot out there that's going to really, uh, well, they already have. There's, I just don't see a whole lot being a better $29.95 or $39.95 package. Yep, detected it. Quarantined. Here's Trust Fighter. This is a day old infection, an older one compared to the one I just ran. Looks like they actually, Spyro Doctor has, PC Tools has added this to their site guard as a bad site, as you can see, which is great because that's one layer of defense before you can even do anything. Um, not even surprised, I went ahead and blocked it. I'm going ahead and pausing the video, starting a part two up.